everyone, this is Seiya. I think this is my first time to show my face on YouTube. So please don't judge me. Yeah, if you do, then don't say anything. Yeah, now I'm going to pick up Rebecca. Yeah, so I'm going to the arrival gate now. I'm just walking. I'm on my way. Yeah. So I'm gonna see Rebecca soon. Bye, yeah. I forgot to take a picture and so I don't know where I parked so she's kind of mad Look at my greasy friend You know where I parked? Huh? You know where I parked? I don't know where you parked <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't know what we're gonna do We can't find the thing Yeah, there's an A to E A to So we can go each of them So <laughs> we can find out Look the video that I took, like you know, when I was talking about I'm gonna pick up Rebecca and stuff. There was the number, I mean alphabet on it, so our parking is B now. So we are going to go B. Rebecca is so exhausted. I'm so tired, like it's been like 24 hours and I can How long was the interview? Like one hour? Now? It was like an hour or like 40 minutes. And they were really nice, so it was fine. I'm literally like no sleep, nothing, no nutrition, no no water, no hydration. I have a water in my You actually yeah. <laughs> I'm opening this little gelato piquet peak. I don't know how you say it. Don't say it wrong. Wow, it's like a sack in a sack. It's like Christmas. It's like one of those Christmas bags you get. so cute oh my god they're like so autumnal do you know what i mean like how do you say japanese i don't know autumnal like, like a fort like, akipoi akipoi yeah did i get it right yeah that's so adorable oh my gosh the material is so nice it's not even finished oh really Like a little like... Like a top X. Oh, I remember it's <laughs> set, set up. Because I, cause I bought it a long time ago. Oh, your birthday. You know what? I'd wear this outside. Yeah. How cute is that? Is it meant to like, be like that? Yeah. Right, okay. Like, it goes so well with my new pieces as well. Wow. Thank you so much. Hey, so we are here in Japan at a shrine and we're going to wish for good luck. Mainly health. Mainly health, because Saya's got health anxiety that we need to deal with. <laughs> We've come to an anti-cancer shrine. Yeah, because I'm scared of it. I'm scared of it. I have no idea why I'm scared of it, but yeah, we're here. You know, we're going to do it. And also, I'm going to wish you good luck for the future. And also for your health. And your passion. And yeah, I'm really jet lagged still. I literally arrived last night. So I've had no time to recover. So yeah, I'm suffering. I have to set a fire first. Then you have to like feel the body then you know those places cannot like get like all the bad disease and stuff so it's a protection it's for health then yeah i'm gonna color the bits that have problems with like with the most black and okay i'm just gonna sort of shade the bits that are fine okay so i can emphasize exactly what i did there okay mental health because i'm kind of stressed but that's like my head and also my skin because that always looks really dull. This is my wish. I'm basically the shit.
just finished the uh, briefing. Yeah. Yeah, that was really beautiful actually. Really calming. But I'm still really tired. I just really need to like go to bed and just get like a full body massage and everything. What do you want to eat? Basically what I eat is tuna salad. I literally make tuna salad all the time. So I think I'll just stick with that. Sounds very interesting. Tuna in Japan is quite expensive. I think you pay as well. So you're rich then? Well I just don't buy anything else except tuna. I'm not buying That's how you keep your healthy body then. And protein smoothies. Oh yeah, and I need fruit protein smoothies too. This Ichinomiya place, yeah. this place has like the most normal hotel in Japan. Most in Japan? Yeah. Well, like just like blocks of them, like yeah. together. <laughs> but is that necessary? I don't know. Do, do you guys have like the hotel thing? Isn't that many people using it? You can imagine that all the people like all at the same time just like doing their business in the bunk way to Like imagine having like a 3D x-ray vision through the building because it'd be like a horror movie then. <laughs> you guys have it in England? No, we don't. Not at all. I think Japan's the only country with this like that's hotel culture. Oh, really? Maybe other countries do, but I don't know. When I was in Spain, like, I never thought about it because I was too young. Yeah. I don't think there's like some kind of place like that. I don't know why Japan has it because we see that all. Oh god, yeah, I, I saw a video about that the other day. About, I think I sent it to you, didn't I? Like the street interviews. They were asking oh. the people, like, is um, like prostitution, like using prostitutes, it's considered cheating in Japan. They only ask girls for some reason. But the girls are like, no, it doesn't count as cheating. I was like, what? Like, is it cheating in England? Absolutely. Absolutely. So, what's the definition of cheating? I guess the basic, I mean there's a lot of definitions, but the basic one that everyone thinks is basically having physical contact with someone other than your partner. It's, that's considered like cheating. What's the like a uh, rate, like, you know, the percentage of cheating in England? I don't know. I mean, my, I've had friends that have been cheated on. I assume it's probably higher than you think it is. 70%. So, do you think it'd be that much? No idea. Mine's like nearly 50%, no? I think everywhere is 50%. Isn't it? That's up. Like, when you get older, you're gonna think like that. Think like what? Like, trying to cheat or something. Like, you get bored of your partner. It like, even boring. like you have a child, like, they still do the cheating. Yeah, I know. It's, it's happened to people I know. How can you do that to someone? Like, especially because you're married and you have like a kid who relies, relies on you both. And then you just stitch the family. Yeah, like there. poor kids. Yeah, poor kid children. <laughs> Those kind of reasons. Uh, Japan has a lot of no hotels. Is that the reason? I have no idea why. Like, I don't know, I feel like, you know, in Europe, people just do their business like any, anywhere. When I was in Italy, I saw, I saw people doing it. What the? Outside. So Italy. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I was in I was in Sorrento, which is like a really nice part of Italy, on the Amalfi coast. And I so was they are feeling it. Yeah, they're feeling it, but they were like Italian, like locals, you know. Uh, yeah. I was like, oh. is it illegal to do kind of things in public in England? Yeah, like public indecency. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. isn't it everywhere? <laughs> in Japan, yeah. Yeah. Would be. I think like they don't make like, this kind of building in their country. I don't know. It, it just doesn't feel right to have hotels related to sex just everywhere in public. If you want to like meet someone in the UK and like you know usually you like take them home if that makes sense. But like, what if they're parents. living with your parents? I guess yeah. Yeah that's a good point. I don't find it like rude or anything or like it's just really bizarre. Especially because Japan is like known as such a modest culture of like conservative culture. I think it's it would shock quite a lot of people if they actually came here and then like saw what those hotels were for.